Hello, my name is John Polk. I want to thank you so much for taking a little time to watch this video today. I want to talk to you what I call the Red Bull phenomenon. This little energy drink right here called Red Bull. I still like the taste of it, man. I have the most funny story to tell you about Red Bull in my own life and what happened to me. And I want to talk to you about the Red Bull phenomenon. The Red Bull, Red Bull phenomenon is a mistake that so many people make in business that it boggles my mind. Now, I know this because I've made it myself, all right? Now, before Red Bull came to this country, I was a very successful supplement marketer. I've created probably over 100 SKUs of supplements. I've even sold... Uh, shampoo and conditioner. You know, I've sold just about everything. And I had an energy drink, um, Energy Extreme, and it was all natural. I mean, I put a lot of money in developing this formula, and my whole idea was you tear it open, pour it in, mix it up. So I had this. Before Red Bull Monster Anybody, I had a Supercross team, and I had my energy drink, and I was doing that whole motocross energy drink thing before anybody. And, and I had a full page tear sheet. We were, we were rocking and rolling, all right? So I ended up selling that company later, but I still had this passion for energy drinks. And I remember when Red Bull came to town and I had this product here and it was all natural, holistic and all that. I was totally into the holistic phase at that point in my life. And I, I was driving down the tollway and I saw this energy drink on the back of some weird looking vehicle and I'm like, what the hell is that? And it said Red Bull energy drink. Energy drink? I'm like, wait a minute. There's somebody who has an energy drink? I had never heard of Red Bull. That was when they first came to this country. And long story short, I reluctantly tried it. You know, I thought, oh, this is going to suck, right? And unlike a lot of people, I tried it. I was... I fell in love with the product instantly. And I ended up, this is a true story, I ended up drinking this in the closet. I'm selling an energy drink and I'm drinking Red Bull. And what happened was, I liked the taste, I liked the experience better than my own product. And, and that's embarrassing to tell, but it, I did. And um, that led me to create this product um, a few years later. And I tried to compete with Red Bull in an 8-ounce can. In my position, I used a direct response marketing tactic called free. <laughs> you ever heard of that? So my position in the marketplace was buy one, get one free forever. And it crushed, and I won't tell you what happened to that, but it ended up leading to this product here called Buku Energy, which became very successful because I was the first person, I'm showing you all kinds of stuff here, I was the first person to put an energy drink in a 24 ounce can. I later did the 16, but I started with the 24 ounce can. And I was first to market. But when I tried to go head to head with Red Bull in this eight ounce can, I lost my ass. It, didn't, it did not work. Red Bull, no company has successfully competed against Red Bull in an eight ounce can because they own that position. Rockstar came into the market with a 16 ounce. They double sized it like Pepsi did against Coke in like the 1930s, whatever it was. And that double size value for the same price launched Rockstar. Russ Weiner, I think, is about, about a billionaire from that little idea. One little idea, double size it. So I thought everybody's, thousands of companies have come up with this 8 ounce can. I had on my wall what I call the wall of shame, and I had all these energy drink companies from around the country. I taped the cans to the wall, and when this didn't work, I was desperate. So long story short, I created this 24-ounce can, the first in the category. So if you go to a convenience store and you see a 24-ounce shelf of energy drinks, just know that I'm the guy who created that. Now, I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm saying it because I want you to think like that. Now, what in the hell does an energy drink like Red Bull, Buku, Pure Power, any shots, any of these things have to do with what you're doing online right now? It has a lot. Why? Because what's going on right now 
you have the Red Bull people of the internet, the top gurus. I'm not going to mention some of their names. You know who they are. But, you know, they just learned direct response and learned what they were doing from someone. And then those guys were like the first, like Red Bull was the first. And so everybody out there is trying to copy them. This is a fundamental principle in business that very few people understand. Whatever industry you're in, there are leaders that everybody's just like the herd, you know, the sheep, they go following and do just what they do, and that is a disaster. That is the worst thing in the world to do because they've already done it. They already occupy that space in the mind of the consumer, in the mind of the audience. You want to occupy a different space. That is the magic and that's how you're going to succeed in a much bigger way. I, ever since I learned the Red Bull phenomenon, I haven't made that mistake again. And my career, I mean, I, I'd made millions of dollars before that, but I had a whole new perspective on business after I learned this lesson. And I want you to understand that lesson right now. Whatever you're doing in business, and if you're watching this video and you're, you're not an internet marketer per se, you're, you're a business person, I want you to take this Red Bull phenomenon and try to apply it in your life. Are you guilty right now of just following the leaders? Because if you are, it's my opinion you're not really going to succeed to the degree of which you deserve and desire. What I want you to do is create the 24 ounce can of it. Stop trying to be like the Red Bull. Stop trying to be like, you know, the tier one guys and do exactly what they do. Don't, I mean, actually, you, you don't want to do what they say, you want to do what they do. That's another little revelation there because usually what they teach isn't what they do, you know. But the main thing of it is I want to teach you to open your mind. In a previous video, I told you how I had my mind opened by a young guy that came to work for me named Jaden that taught me about, wow, I'll never miss out again on a widget. If I see a great widget idea, I'm going to be all over it. And it taught me that as a direct marketer, we can sell anything that we want. Now, what we want to sell is something that appeals to a mass market. You know, I don't really, to me, I don't really want a little niche market. I want a big mass market. And it, you can still do first-to-market propositions and position yourself in a market and carve out a gigantic piece of, of the pie for yourself. So the little lesson today, I still like my energy drinks better. Oh, I forgot to tell you what happened, you know. I created this. I started drinking this. So I, I made up my mind that I would never develop a product that I would secretly desire the competitions ever again. I made that mistake. I'm just being honest. I did. So when I created this product here, without a question, I desired this product more than this. And I used the same formula and I put it in this big can here. When this didn't work, I just went to 7-Eleven and I said, Debbie, she's a national buyer for 7-Eleven, I said, the magic of Buku is that I'm going to take this same formula here, boom, one, boom, two, boom, three energy drinks in one for the same price. So it was my way of trumping what everyone else was doing, create a new category, and the rest is history. That company sold for nearly $25 million and went public. So that's what deviating from the Red Bull phenomenon can do for you. So what I want you to do today is I want you to really think. What you're going to find that I'm about, I'm about thinking differently. I, I don't want you to just follow what everyone else is saying. I don't want you to just take what I'm saying and do exactly what I'm doing. I, but I want to teach you to think for yourself. And just apply this simple metaphor to what you're doing and you might just have a gigantic breakthrough. 
Because if you're working on the wrong thing right now, you're working on the wrong thing. So then the next video, I want to share with you that I don't want you to have your mind closed to just selling information products. That's the other big thing that's going on right now in the internet marketing community is that people think they have to sell information. I have to sell a membership site. I have to sell, you know, an ebook. And the big problem with selling information typically it's not a continuity driven model. Now, yes, you can sell a membership site, but you know, th that's not nearly as good as coming up with a proactive like Guthy Ranker did and does 1.4 billion a year in sales. I want to get you in the next video to open your eyes to selling more than the Red Bull phenomenon. What do all the top guys do? Oh, there's nothing better than selling information. Really? I would say, you know, doing $33 million selling a widget the first year like that would be better. And I mean, I can give you all kinds of examples. And I'll give you some examples later. And I'll share with you later how this, this little front end led to um, over $150 million in sales. Um, so anyway, stay tuned, come back, check out some more of my videos. What I'm about is helping share my years and years, 30 years of being a direct response marketer with you and help you not to make some of the mistakes that I've made, but to also have some of the successes that I've had. So have a great day and thank you so much for um, your time. Bye-bye now.